Hello, this video guide is to help IFBA candidates create and log in to their IFBA portal account. This is the first step that they will take on their journey to certification through the IFBA. The first place to begin is at a website called candidate.internationalbiosafety.org. Here you will see a sign-in page. Because you do not yet have an account, you'll need to create one. Right here, as you can see, there is a sign up button. If you click that sign up button, you will be taken to a screen where you will be able to enter your name and email address. Here, you will enter your full name. And your email address. We recommend that you use a Gmail address for this. When you have entered all of the required information, click the sign up button. Once you have clicked the sign up button, a email will automatically be sent to the email address that you entered. If you go to your inbox of your email address, you will find the email there after a few minutes. You'll see that it came rather quickly, but sometimes it could take up to 10 minutes. Click on the email, and inside of the email, you will see in the body, please click here to create a new password and update your candidate profile within the IFBA certification portal. You need to click this button, and when you do, you will be redirected to create your password on this screen. When you create your password, use a strong password and enter it twice. Once you've entered your password twice, click the Create button. Once you click the Create button, you will be brought to your candidate profile you'll notice that your candidate profile is completely empty, except for your email address and your candidate ID, which have been autofilled. These you cannot change, but you will need to fill in all of the rest of the information in the other fields. It is very important to add your address in its entirety and your phone number in its entirety this is so that you can receive documentation from IFBA when you have completed and become certified. Here you'll put the organization you are currently affiliated with. It is important to fill in all of the information in this. I'm using example information. Once all of the information is filled in, you will click this button right here. This verifies to the IFBA that you have provided all of the information that they will need to contact you with your certification materials. Once all of this is completed and you have clicked the button, click the submit button at the bottom. The next step in your account creation is to agree to the Statement of Confidentiality and the Code of Conduct. Here you will read the following message and type your full name here. Once you have agreed to, by typing your name, everything here, click the Submit button. You will then be taken to the Code of Conduct where you will do the same. Read the information provided and type your full name to agree to the code of conduct. You will then click the submit button. 
you will see a pop-up come that says success. In case the pop-ups have been blocked on the IFBA portal at this time, you will see here in your URL, right here at the top of your screen, a little message that says that a pop-up has been blocked. It is important that you allow pop-ups for the IFBA portal. That way we can communicate with you specific information about your account. Once you have enabled your pop-ups and you have the success message, click next and you will be brought to your account. We will cover the next step in our next videos.